guys, it's Felicia with Happy Ever After Living. Today is Sunday, January 22nd, and we are going into week four of 2023 yeah of my 100 pound weight loss journey so in today's video what i wanted to share with you guys was i want to share with you my meal planning that i did as well as my grocery haul and then i also share with you guys my meal prep for this week all right guys so this week i am finally becoming a little bit more serious with my nutrition i am trying to increase my protein and also lower my carbohydrates so i have been eating i wouldn't say like low carb maybe like moderate moderate carb but now my goal is to bring my carbs under 50 grams or less and my goal i'll show you guys here on my ipad some things that some thoughts that i was doing my goal was to bring my protein up to 120 grams per day but i look back at like what i was currently eating and that's a huge boost like i was probably on a good day like maybe around 50 or 60 grams of protein so to double that is really a lot for me but this will be the first week that i'll try to start increasing that i'll show you what i'm talking about so here you can see on my ipad like i was telling you guys my goal was to increase my protein i was trying to eat like about 0.8 grams of protein for like where I want my body weight to be um, and then also I was trying to decrease my carbs to 50 grams or less and I just did like this is just some quick little research I think that's a little bit lower but I was just looking at like how many grams of protein are in you know all of these things here as well as how many grams of carbs because these are some of my favorite like fruits and I love potatoes and yeah so I just wanted to see kind of like what's going on and then I got a little discouraged and I was like so basically I can only eat like a salad protein and a potato for dinner I don't know I don't know I'm not discouraged by it but it's just some thoughts that I had of like how I can make this work and then my goal is to be a little bit more um, disciplined this week with my eating window and try to keep it between 1 and 5 p.m. and then also um, I was looking at some different options for basically like opening up my eating window. All right, so from here, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and flip the camera around and show you guys what I got from this week's grocery haul. I do want to add my budget for my budget for our groceries are four hundred dollars every two weeks, so eight hundred dollars per month. This week, I spent a total of two hundred and twelve dollars. But I will tell you guys, I spent the majority of that on our proteins because I'll show you the first little bit here from Publix that was actually um, $110.45 by itself alone. So this is what I picked up from Publix. This is just, these are chicken breasts. So all three of these, so there's 15 individually wrapped chicken breasts, you know, all the good stuff, like no antibiotics. Um, you know, trying to, I'm trying to eat a little bit more clean, as clean as I possibly can within my budget. And then I got these eggs, 18 count. They were like $7.98. And then I got these, which I thought would be good window openers, just something quick and easy because I am opening my window while I'm at work. So I don't have a lot of time in between patients to eat. So for this week, I'm kind of thinking of like, maybe some of this and then I don't normally eat yogurt but I tried to find something that was as clean as possible if you guys have any other recommendations then let me know this has two grams of sugar and I was really looking for something that didn't have like the artificial sugars that it does say stevia leaf I don't know like I had truly gotten away from sugars and artificial sweeteners but I'm hoping this is okay. If this triggers me to wanting to eat more sugar, then I'll probably back off of um, the yogurt all over again. And so yeah, so we got this cheese, which is like white cheddar with um, smoked black pepper. And then the salmon, this salmon, I am, I'm just gonna tell you guys, it was $55, $55.92. <sighs> and these grapes i got these for the boys so just this alone just this was 110 dollars. all right so the rest of the things this all came from publix everything else came from walmart so we got more coffee i think my husband opened one of these um more coffee here got some blueberries strawberries i wanted to get organic but the price like i 
I'm doing the best I can right now. Um, provolone cheese, some unsalted butter, sour cream. I'm also looking at trying to use cleaner sources of olive oil. Um, all of the oils actually, but definitely no vegetable oils and just trying to clean up my sources of olive oil to the best of my ability. We have cream cheese, some kiwi, some sauce. I'm actually making something for the kids and like for the family tonight, so I'll show you guys that. And then I also got some black tea so that I can have this throughout the day in my eating window to try to keep my eating window pushed back to um, not open it until one o'clock. And then some peppers, cauliflower. I'll be making something with this. I'll show you guys that as well. Cucumbers. Obviously, you guys can tell like what is family food and what's my food, family food. And then the potatoes, like I said. And I will do one medium potato every day. Yeah, so I'm gonna try this for this week and just kind of like see how it goes. Because again, as I mentioned, I am trying to increase my protein because you guys know that I've returned back to strength training and I'm just trying to find the best balance for me as far as getting enough calories, um, sticking to like one meal a day. And I consider one meal a day to be like within a four hour eating window for me. So still doing OMAD, still getting enough protein. You know, it's a tough dance, but I think that if I'm focused, that it can definitely be done. And I know that for me, sometimes if I don't eat enough protein, I start to feel like hungry. And sometimes I'll fuel that with like cheap, cheap carbohydrate sources like Doritos. <laughs> And I'm trying to move away from that and I'm just trying to make sure that I do get enough protein and hopefully um, By me eating more protein that I'll feel fuller longer And I'm also going back to my big salads every night just so I can get it more fiber and you know Just more nutrients, you know, because that's really my focus I do want to lose weight, but I still want to be healthy and try to eat as clean as I possibly can I'm pretty sure I've said that like a million times so from here, I've got a couple more things to do before I do my meal prep, but I'll be sure to come back and share with you guys today's meal prep. All right guys, so this is the new air fryer that we have. Slightly upgraded, just a little bit. Guys, the salmon is looking yummy. Yay! All right guys, so now I want to make um, like this chicken pasta style dish. So I did see something like this similar on Keto is Lifestyle. I'll link the reel that I saw that I got the inspiration from. So basically what I'm gonna do is make one for uh, my family and then one for myself. So in the bottom of mine, I'm basically gonna layer pasta sauce, cauliflower, chicken breast, provolone cheese. And my family's I'm gonna layer with pasta sauce, chicken breast, cotta cheese, and provolone cheese. So I'll be using this sauce for them and then this sauce for myself. But the first thing I'm gonna do is use a Ziploc bag and season the chicken.
first half of the week. If I need to prepare more food later, I can, but I wanna show you guys what we have. And keep in mind, this meal prep is so basic. Like it is just extremely basic, but I found that sometimes I just do best when things are simple and basic. So let me show you what we have. Okay, so I've got eggs to take with me to work for protein. Here I have some Brussels sprouts and green beans, which I cooked in the air fryer with just salt, pepper, garlic, toss a little bit of sesame oil. This was some chicken that I, chicken breast that I put in the air fryer that was left over from these. Um, this is the chicken with pasta sauce in the bottom with the ricotta cheese on both and then provolone cheese also added in their dish. The spaghetti noodles for the family. Um, salmon for more protein. And then I just roasted um, some red cabbage with peppers and this came out really, really well. Um, same thing, toss it with a little bit of oil and then salt, pepper, garlic. Delicious. So I hope you guys found this video to be helpful. I hope that you're meal prepping for the week so that you can meet those weight loss goals, those health journey goals that you set for yourself. Um, also, of course, I'll be drinking lots of fluid, trying to stay hydrated. I'm really excited to see how I do this week because I'm really trying to play out with this balance between the protein and carbohydrates as well as my fasting. I'm still experimenting with my fasting windows um, as well as trying to decide if I want to do OMAD, TUMAD, all of that. But stay tuned. I'll be sure to share all the details because I am determined that I will be successful for 2023. I'm willing to tweak this as much as I need to in order to get the results that I'm trying to get. So until next time, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.